Cotton Philly is entered in the Breeders' Crown. The entire field returns for half a million dollars next week. The favorite, the unbeaten Kiki Katie. They're at the post for the fourth, and here they come. And they're off BJ's Sunset from mid-pack for the lead. J.K. Matchmaker will sprint into contention. Pans Kulats leaves from the outside. Wig Party is up close from the rail. Kiki Katie has come out racing in fifth. Sixth is Lady's Portrait to her inside. Glowing Report on the outside seventh. She'd like to drop in just in front of Show Off. Second last is All-American Coco. And Panipulator at the back of the pack trails the field as her stablemate Pans Kulats drives up to take the lead from BJ's Sunset as they hit the opening quarter in 28 seconds flat. Wig Party is sitting there in third, racing in fourth. J.K. Matchmaker and B.J. Sunset right back out and rolling. So Dave Miller starts up Kiki Katie on the outside. B.J. Sunset retakes the top, and Kiki Katie is moving up on the outside. First over in fourth, and Glowing Report is trying to catch her cover for Brennan. She's on the move as well, and show off is third over on the outside, gapping cover slightly, and Kiki Katie is coming quickly. Kiki Katie pokes ahead in front before the half-mile marker. They reach that stage 56 and four. Glowing Report coming three wide right now as Kiki Katie had a little bit of trouble clearing. So Glowing Report now pokes ahead in front and Kiki Katie is going to release her. She's back into the pocket second. BJ Sunset racing in third. Show off left first up. She's now third on the outside. All-American Coco getting carried closer. Early leader Pans Kulats locked in and shuffled back six. Wig Party is off the cones from seventh and it's Glowing Report as they reach three quarters in 124 and three. Kiki Katie is trapped in behind her. Up on the outside, Show Off is trying to work her way closer first over, and Glowing Report leads it with an eighth of a mile to go. Show Off is right alongside. Kiki Katie takes a peek at the pylons there. All American Coco is fourth on the outside, and here comes Kiki Katie, who's charging hard up the rail, and Kiki Katie keeps her on beaten streak alive. 14 in a row for Kiki Katie. Tight for second, look like Pants Kulats from All American Coco, and a photo for fourth, 150. Three flat. On the lead by two. Allie's dream is trying to run her down. Now 70 yards away. Ali Cat Al holding on, and it's Ali Cat Al to win it by a length. Allie's dream finished second by six. Third was J and B and me. Heat trainer Joe Siegman and Dave Miller. Day first. Kiki Katie. When did you first realize the first time you drove her, or when was it that you realized this is something special? Well, the first time I raced her was the uh, she's a great lady final, and uh, she was just uh, amazing. Tell us about the race tonight. You got away in the middle of the pack? Yeah, you know, I, I uh, didn't want to leave the race uh, out here tonight, you know, uh, knowing that she would make it back. But, you know, you got the, uh, uh, her win streak on the line. But uh, I, I tried to be as easy on her as I could without racing her too awful hard and still win. Glowing Report was coming after you pretty hard uh, past the half. Any thoughts of not letting her go? No, I, I, I figured she'd take me where I had to go, and uh, I, I would get loose somewhere, and uh, it worked out. When you found the room in the deep stretch, how'd she respond? It's her usual self. She uh, dug right in. Best quality she has? She's, she can just do anything you want to do with her. She's a true professional. Okay. Joe Siegman, Meadowlands debut for Kiki Katie. Tell us a little bit about her. The, the first day you noticed that this was a little something extraordinary. Uh, we've always liked the filly since we broke her. Uh, liked her as a yearling. You know, she always showed a little spit and fire, paced all the time just as soon as we broke her. Tell us a little bit about uh, training her. Does it take a lot of work? Does she take care of herself? How's that work? She's pretty simple. Uh, unbelievable for the 14 starts she's had, you know, flesh-wise, how good she looks. Anything changed this week coming up to the final? No, nope, nothing at all. Next year is a three-year-old stake fully. Everything see her here at Meadowlands? Yeah, we've got to go over that, you know, with Mr. DeVisser, and uh, we'll look at it and do that accordingly. Okay, Joe Seekman, congratulations. Great work. Kiki Katie is 14 for 14 heading into the final. Appreciate that. Thanks.